Welcome to tutorial number 163. This tutorial will be a simple short tutorial, but it will be important to continue the sheet metal feature menu and important for the next tutorial. If you remember, if you go to the sheet metal feature, edit feature, here at the end, you will see the auto relief section. We already talked about the gauge table in the previous tutorial and the bin parameters and bin allowance. Now let's talk about the last section auto relief. We will talk about the types of auto relief, rectangular, tear, pop round, and understand the auto relief ratio down there. So start a new part and let's make a very simple box. Okay. Go to the front plane and make a U-shape. Okay, let's assume this is a steel sheet and go to the sheet metal and give it a length, this flange give it length 100. And for the bending method, I will use the gauge table, the topic of the previous tutorial. Also pick the same table shown in the previous tutorial. Chats and the sheet metal parameters, I will pick the gauge number 20. So here we have gauge number 20 and the thickness, the bend radius, all and the bend allowance are calculated according to the table. And here you will see auto relief. Just click OK for now because auto relief in this case will not be shown because There is no tight corners or any need for them. For example, let's go to the sheet metal and expand the auto relief. You will see the three types we said rectangular tier around. Around, if you pick tier, click OK, you will not notice anything. So you will see what is the use and purpose for auto relief. So in order to show the auto relief, I will make an edge flange for this box and make it up to vertex. Up to vertex and here is vertex. So now if you scroll down over there, you will see that the bending over there might look not that perfect. And it can be even harder for the machining and there is a risk for tearing and it can be managed by the auto relief. So the auto relief is from its name to give a relief to the sheet metal wide bending and processing. For example, let's decrease the offset of this edge plan, edit feature, and here make it with an offset. Make it offset of three millimeter and reverse it. And click OK. So in case of a steel, this also, this type of bending might be difficult for such material. 
So the auto relief purpose is to relieve the corner. So let's now go to the. So to make it clear, I will edit the edge flange, edit feature, and edit flange sketch, and make it a bit shorter over there. And on the other side, give it some dimension. Five, um, five here. Click finish. And um, if you notice over there, you will see this little cut near the bending. So this is the auto relief. So in this case, it will be easier for bending. So the time chosen over there, go to the edit feature, and it is a brown, so it is from its there, it will have a round edge over there. Make it normal too. And here you see the round. If you pick the other type, the rectangular, click OK. And here you will see the rectangular type on both edges. And the last one, there, it is kind of tearing directly through the sheet. So I go back and pick the up round. And down there you will see 0.5. This is the ratio of the auto leaf related to the thickness of the sheet metal. So 0.5, we will get exactly, if you remember the thickness is almost one, is 0.91. So the distance over there will be almost half the thickness. If you measure, if you go to the measure tool, select this face and this face, you will see the normal distance is 0.49. That will be the same distance if you make it rectangular and pick that edge, and you will get the length 0.46. And for the tear, it is a tear and it will not have any gap. So I'll take the up around, click OK. And let's try to make the front shape. Let's make the offset. Click OK. You will see there is no any other relief because there is already a gap over there and it is easy process for bending. And let's now return it back to change the offset direction. Click OK. Now let's try to make a full edge. Edge flange Pick that edge and click, make an offset, click OK. You'll notice that there is no any auto relief because the bending is directly near the edge. You can check over there that there is already the overall is already checked. So in this case, there is another way to deal with the corners, which will be the topic of the next tutorial when we talk about the corners over there.
for now let's again repeat the process of the auto relief ratio this time let's make it you notice the maximum is 1.9 this for now make it 1 click ok here you will get the same the gap will have the same distance as the thickness of this sheet if you select the the radius and the radius is 0.49 that means the distance or diameter is equal to the thickness let's again change it to the maximum 0.15 it you see it will be almost the gap distance is almost twice the thickness of the material 